Hey, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be a um, unboxing, show and tell of a deck that is I'm super excited to even have near me right now. Um, and it is no longer in print, so I was able, the universe conspired to get me this. It is... The Animals Divine Tarot by Lisa Hunt. So, this deck is no longer in print, like, at all. Like, at all. Um, this, I don't even know how old this deck, it says copyright 2005. But I think I remember seeing it in 2000 and, like, 9, maybe 2008. I don't know, it could be, like, maybe 2007, um, something like that, I can't remember, but, um, I went through, like, a phase when I was 18 of being that rebellious witch teenager, and, um, I had the Fairy Tale Terror by Lisa Hunt, which is out of print as well, and super rare, so, I mean, if you find one for less than, like, you know, a thousand dollars, then you're doing good. Um, so, yes, this is the Animals Divine Tarot by Lisa Hunt. Um, I'm going to show you the goodies that I got with it first. Um, so, I got fur. I got a beautiful card. It's such a pretty card. I love that it has runes on it, it's actually really pretty. And it was just a really sweet note that she left me in the card. Um, I absolutely adore Lisa Hunt. I adore her work. She's a fantastic person, and she has, like, a heart of gold. I just adore her. Um, I have an autographed magician card from the Ghosts and Spirits Tarot, which I really like, and I use during that witchy time of the year of fall. And so then I have, Dear Andrew, wishing you much love. Joy and prosperity this holiday season and throughout 17, to throughout 17, throughout 2017. And this is, what card is this? The Ten of Pentacles from the Fairy Tale Tarot. So I got this box last night and I didn't do a video then because I was like super tired and did not have time. So I didn't really, like, I opened the box that she sent me, which, like, I have to say, it was packaged like a pro, like a, like a champ. Like, I don't even know. It was awesome. Like, it was just, oh my gosh. It was like so neatly packaged and the care that was put into it. Like all the bubble wrap. It was just really nice. And I love popping bubbles in the, like in the bubble wrap. It just made me really happy. So this is Horus. Horus, yes. So this is autographed as well. Card, her business card, which I really like. It's kind of glossy, so you can, can't really see that that well. In the light that I have, because I know I probably look really bright. That's because of the light, because it's kind of dark this morning, and I'm filming this before I have to get ready for work. So I have an autographed Ten of Pentacles card, which I will take. I love that Ten of Pentacles. You better give that to me. The house card from the fairy tale Lenormand, which was on my Christmas list. So I don't know that. Hopefully, maybe that will be in my stocking. Um, and then an autographs Celtic Dragon. The and so, this really made me happy. Um, so, peacocks are my sign from the universe. Um, I was having difficulties at work, and I asked for, I asked the universe for a sign. And I was like, if I'm on the right path, because I didn't know if I should leave my job that I have now or if I should stay. And... I was like, if I'm meant to be where I am, if there is something keeping me here, then show me a peacock. And I've been seeing peacocks nonstop. And she sent me a peacock card. And while I love this peacock card, and I will be putting it in my planner that I have for 2017, because I love it so much, this is what really killed me. So, this is the guidebook for the, and that was the goodies that came with the deck. This is the guidebook for The Animals Divine, which Lisa wrote as well. So she was the author and artist of this deck. So it is phenomenal. But on the title page, 
take this out. This is a paper there. For Andrew, let the animal energies guide you with love and light, Lisa Hunt. And she drew this. Like, I was just head over heels for this. I, I, I just can't even... Like, I saw it online when, like, when she posted it on her page. But I see it now, and it's just even more beautiful, and it just gives me chills. Um, so I'm just going to show you the guidebook, and then I'll show you the cards. So let's see. There's a four by Chris Waldher. Not sure who that is. Um, but I guess they're awesome. I'll take that as they're awesome. So we have... We have chapter one, animals as divine, how to communicate with animals, and then it goes into, ooh, the layouts. I am like a sucker for some spreads, like, oh, Chris Walter is the author of the Goddess Tarot, Sacred Animals, and the Lover's Path Tarot. I've seen the Goddess Tarot. That looks, that looks nice. Connecting with animal powers. She goes in talking about animals in this. Animals as inspiration, using the animals, divine tarot. Each card is interwoven with, rele with relevant symbols. I have provided the reader with a description of the symbols utilized in the image to enhance the reading. Huh. And I, I have to say, I've had the app for a while now, um, which, total plug, not getting paid to say this. But the Fool's Dog has amazing apps. So if you have a lot of tarot decks um, and you like carrying them with you, then that is definitely something that I like to do. I have like a million apps, tarot deck apps on my phone to just use when I'm out and about. I also use my apps for the card of the day sometimes if I'm running a little bit behind and don't have time for a video. Because the energy is still the same, it's just an app. How to communicate with animals. Okay, so we're getting to the, the major arcana. So this is the Fool. So you have the Fool, you have the... Oh, that's neat. So, so it gives you like the, the name of the animal on the card, obviously, and then where it comes from. So this is Native American, and they give you the meaning, and she gives you the symbols for it, and then a description for the card. Wow, this is detailed. Um, so the, the magician is Caridwen, and so that's the Celtic goddess. Uh, meaning, creativity, learning, magic, directing energies. So you have a small representation of the card, the the number of the card in Roman numerals, the high pre the title of the card, who's on the card, meaning, symbols, and description on the back. So that's actually really cool. I really like that a lot. Okay, and the same for the minor arcana too. Show me a spread. Oh, okay. Let's see. There's a four card spread. Ooh, animal journey spread. Oh, this is like one where you separate the, the suits. I do, I do love looking at some, like, trying spreads that are in the books. Then there's meditations. That's awesome. This is, I mean, I, I've read the, um, because the guidebook is on the app as well. So I've read the guidebook on the app, and Lisa did a phenomenal job writing this. So the inside of the box, this is the inside of the box, and the cards were right here. Um, this is back when Llewellyn actually gave you a bag for your deck. Not the sturdiest bag, but they gave you a bag for your deck. Which is sometimes all I ask for in my life is a bag for my deck in Llewellyn boxes. Um, and while their packaging has gotten better, I'll give that to them. They still kind of screw you over and don't give you a bag. Like, they're like, why? Why don't they give you a bag anymore? Because, no, I don't want to carry around the modern spellcaster's tarot box. I don't want to have to buy a deck and a bag. Like, I'm not made of money. 
But either way, I have a bag for this deck. And this is a deck that I'm probably, since it's out of print, you cannot find this anywhere new, ever. Um, except from Lisa, uh, from what I've seen. Um, I've, I think I saw some on Amazon, but it was like $75 just for the book. Which is, like, why would you pay $75 for a book? It doesn't have a deck with it. Unless you just like to read. Which works, I guess. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Oh, I've been waiting for this forever. Okay. This is the backing. So, kind of reversible. If you want to use reversals. I don't think the guidebook has... Um, no, the guidebook doesn't have reversals in it. So, it's up to you, I guess. Oh, this, oh, they have spreads on the... Those cards with spreads on them. I just remember to take those out. I'll be in a reading and be like, Oh, you have the Animal Will Spread card. <laughs> that's, that's neat. I'll put those right there. Oh my god. Like You guys don't even know how excited I am to like dig into this. Um, I have seen all the card images because I have the app. And I just... I don't want... I, I like surprises, but then I don't. So, I just... Whatever. Oh, but the artwork is just phenomenal. Like, it's just... Oh, my God. I don't even know. Like, her decks are always phenomenal. Like, I just want to put that out there. But I think this might be one of her best. So, Coyote. Move this light. I'm a little darker. You can still see me okay. We'll just do it like this. Because you can still see... You can see the car a little bit better like this. This is Coyote. Actually, no. You can't. Might as well be a little bit brighter. So, Coyote. This is the full card. So, I'm basically going to show you the Major Arcana. And maybe the Aces. Because I don't have too much time. Caridwen. The Magician. Bast. The High Priestess. Hera, the emperor, the, em the emperor, the empress. Zeus, the emperor. I like this card a lot. Love Greek mythology. Love Greek mythology. But this is my, this is one of my main man right here, Ganesha. Ma main deities. I don't want to be disrespectful, but Ganesha, that's the high priest. When I saw this card, I was like. <gasps> Like, I messaged Lisa, and I was like, oh my god, Ganesh is in this deck. Brahma and Saraswati as the lovers. I'm being super careful with this deck. Because I can't get another one. Freya, the chariot. Tara, Tara, strength. Carnunos or Cernunos, I can't remember. I can't even remember which one that is. The Hermit. Which I like that because it's like getting out in nature. I like that a lot because, yeah, it just works really well. Um, all animals, the wheel card. This reminds me is the circle of life. Na, 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 na. Justice. This Mott. Spider Woman. The Haynes Man. Spider works good for the Hain Man. For reasons that are obvious. Sedna. Death. I have to do more research about Sedna because I don't know who that is. But I love the Death card. Always. I can't even try to pronounce this. Zoe's Jaquetzal. The Temperance card. But I, I, I like that she included, like, the, um, you know, the who it is and that kind of stuff and what they come from so I can look it up. Rhiannon, Challenge. This is the Devil card. I feel like a total idiot because I was looking for a card that was called the Devil. And I was like, it should be here. And I was like, oh, wait, it is here. I was like, duh. Thunderbirds, the tower. Can I just get a hell yeah? Like, that's amazing for a tower card. Like, that's just freaking, like, what? But also, 
I like this card a lot, and I haven't read what she said in the guidebook, but, and the car stock is really, the car stock is nice. Not too thick, not too thin, it's really, it's really nice, I like it. Um, eagles can, like, fly above the storm, so that's kind of nice. So this is a nice reminder when you get the tower card, that yeah, things might look really shitty right now, they might look really bad, but you just got to fly above the storm and you see a totally different perspective of what's going on. I always say that about the tower card. The tower card seems like a bad card, but it's really a chance to rebuild your foundations that have crumbled or foundations that were built on things that um, are not substantial. That the, the tower card kind of calls you out a little bit and says, let this stuff go and start again. I mean, here's Quan Yin, and this is actually the background on my phone. Like, I love this card because it's Quan Yin, and she has a peacock and a, and a panda. And I love pandas, too. But she's got a peacock, and it's Quan Yin, and it's the star card. I was like, this is just amazing. Odin. The moon. See, I said I didn't have a lot of time, but I'm telling you about every single thing in my life. Horus, the sun. Love it. Gal... I'm going to say Gao Yao, because that sounds really funny. Gao Yao. Judgment. The world. I'm actually going to put my modern spellcasters tarot up, and I'm going to use this deck um, until the cows come home. Queen of Cups. Poseidon. I love this card. King of Cups. Oh, wait. We got past the... Ha! We finished the, the, um, what was the world card? I didn't even see it. I was too busy talking. Oh, the world was Gaia. Okay, duh. I remember that. But I just like this. It's, it's Venus, which is the Queen of Cups, which works really well for obvious reasons. Tangoria, Page of Cups, now Athena, wait, no, Page of Cups, oh, she put the queen after the king, I wonder if that's like the queen is the highest one, like it goes, huh, either way, it's awesome, Athena is the queen of swords, which, oh, God, like, I'm just, like, I can't even, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. Like, this deck is just phenomenal. Quetzalcoatl, King of Swords. Like, I, I'm just, like, I'm super sad that I didn't get this deck, like, when it was out. Like, I just, like, what? But I was only, that's 2005, so I was only, like, I wasn't even in high school yet. That's probably why, because I didn't hit my rebellious phase until I was, like, in high school. If you hear water running in the background, that's my cat's water fountain. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them. This Queen of Wands, I have to say, like, I'm definitely afraid of snakes. Like, 110%. Like, can't even look at them on TV without freaking out. But, I drew the Queen of Wands card. And I was like, okay, I'm going to sit with this energy a little bit. And I actually don't mind that card as much now. The Wild Unknown Terror still kind of gets me a little bit with the um, with the snakes. But I just kind of move past it and call it good. Because I'm just like, oh. A monkey is the Page of Pentacles. A Han... Hanuman. Or Hanuman. I don't know. Ooh, a seal is the ace. Now, let me, the seal is the ace of cups. But look at this cute. Oh, my God. Otters. 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 Otters are the two of cups. Polar bear is the three of cups. I know there's a glare. I'm sorry, guys. But it's just super dark. I don't want to open the blinds because then I forget to close them. And then people were robbing people and, like, breaking in. And I'm like... I don't want them to see all my stuff. This would be pretty shitty. Um, let's see. Ace of Swords. 
duckling. That's an interesting image. I have to read. I have to read about that. I always love reading like, uh, and especially in decks like this, because I have the animal totem tarot, and I really like it. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but I, I like reading how the animals, how they say the animal ties into the card. So, um, this is the vulture, the three of swords, which makes sense, I guess. Um, hawk, the four of swords, and I'm gonna be using this deck in in, in my in my reading too because. I love it. Bat, Five of Swords. Um, I just I just love it. Now, I really like this card. And I don't know if this was her intention or not, but I want to say it probably was. But if you look at this card, this is the Eight of Swords. You see how all these birds are flying? And this bird is so focused on this one sword that's like in his way, but he doesn't even realize he can fly. And I was like, this is genius. Like, this is just amazing. Like, I just... I mean, like, that just shows, like, I'm not really an artist, so I don't have that kind of, like, vivid imagination that, that artists have, but that's just amazing. Like, that is, like, that's just so creative. I just don't even know. It's just fantastic. Nine of Swords is the Crow. Oh, Firefly, which is... The Ace of Wands. Two of Wands is the Dragonfly. Ladybug is the Four of Wands. Chameleon is the Five of Wands, which I'm interested to read about that. A Caterpillar is the Six of Wands because Butterfly. You have like a weird noise in your house, and you're like, what is this? Um, the B is the Seven of Wands. The Ant is the Eight of Wands. I really like this card a lot. The Snake. I actually really like this because you can't really even see the snake unless you look. The Nine of Wands. <laughs> that's, that's why I like it, because you can't hardly see it. Guinea Pig, Ace of Pentacles. Panda is the two of pentacles. Tiger is the three of pentacles. Four of pentacles is the beaver. And let's see. What other cards? Oh, my, fa my, my, my favorite animal ever. Um, the giraffe. So that's all I'm going to show you because I showed you pretty much the whole deck. And I've taken up enough of your time. So thank you for staying with me this long um, I'm super happy to have this deck. I am just beyond excited to be working with it. Um, I'm going to draw a card for us for today because we are in Mercury Retrograde. So maybe these animals will be nice to us and give us a nice fluffy card. Oh, we have the world card. So this is just a reminder to take care of the environment, take care of ourselves too. But just focus on the completion of your goals. Mercury retrograde can kind of put a, a, a stopper in people and can cause us to kind of be like, oh my God, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this. Focus on your goals. Just, you know, be be careful and be realistic. But focus on your goals of where you are and where you want to be right now um, because they, are, they can be completed, but it's just going to be a matter of making sure that you take time to just center and ground yourself and... Just know that it's not as bad as it seems, that it's going to be okay. We're going to make it. Um, but I really hope that you guys like this video. And um, I took up a lot of your time. And I do not apologize for it because this deck is gorgeous. So uh, if you would like a reading with me, you can still snag your um, your yearly readings. They do go away forever on or until next year <laughs> on December 31st. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, they um, you can get one at the link below. There are a limited number available as well because I am super busy this time of year um, at work. So, I think there's like five available right now, five or six available right now. So, if you want to snag one of those, um, you do get a free meditation with it that I normally charge for. So, you get a free Crown of Light meditation with it, um, which that lasts. Um, you get that on every reading until the 31st as well. So the yearly reading, you get a 30-minute um, reading about the year, year ahead, a video reading, 
an oracle card reading, and a meditation for 2017. So that is still available. You can check it out below. Um, if that reading doesn't drive with you and you see another one that does, then that's cool too. But I will be seeing you guys very soon. Um, if I don't make a video before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, I hope it's fantastic. Or if you don't celebrate anything at all, I hope you have a wonderful winter season. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your love and support through throughout um, 2016. I look forward to a really wonderful 2017 with all of you. Angel blessings. Bye.